Pittsburgh Steelers Talk, powered by Chat Sports, is presented by Manscaped. Make sure to get the best men's grooming products on manscaped.com slash chat for 20% off plus free shipping when you use the promo code chat. Tyler Jones here with you. Exciting news for the Pittsburgh Steelers. As in the second round, with the 52nd pick, the Steelers have selected wide receiver George Pickens out of Georgia. Now, George Pickens, a terrific talent, no question about it, but there's a bit of an injury issue. More on that in just a second on Pickens. Pickens last season, just five catches for 107 yards. And if you didn't know anything about George Pickens, you would say, what? A second-round pick on a guy that only had five catches? Well, hold the phone for one moment here, folks. The story with Pickens is that he missed most of last year coming back from an ACL injury, but was a part of the team's run in winning the national title last year. A bit of a wild card, but has wide receiver one upside. Good at getting that late separation through the shoulders and hand usage. Only played 35 pass snaps this past season. So that's the uh, scouting report from our own Tom Downey. He has him as the number eight receiver in the draft, the number 40 player overall. And when I look at George Pickens, I see a terrific talent. Um, You know, what he was able to do when he was healthy, he was terrific. He has that big playability. That's not the issue with Pickens. It's just the health matter. Now, I want you guys to weigh in. Tell me what you think as far as the George Pickens pick goes. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Tell me what you think. Type A, B, C, D, or F. I'll give you my grade here in just a second on the George Pickens pick, but I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. You're going to get an ad break. Take advantage of it while the ad's playing. Get your votes in. How you think the Steelers did on drafting George Pickens. Now, look, here's the thing. The Pittsburgh Steelers are the best in the National Football League when it comes to developing day two wide receivers. We have seen it time and time again what they have been able to do with guys from the second round on, whether it was Chase Claypool, Juju, Emmanuel Sanders, Antonio Brown. The list goes on and on. This is what the Steelers do better than anyone else in the National Football League. And when I look at George Pickens, the guy that's had those injury issues, you have to trust the Steelers on this one here. Look, this is Kevin Colbert's last draft as the GM of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And Colbert here, this is one where I say, all right, Kevin, you have done this before. Although there's the injury history there, you see something in this guy. You see that he is a first-round talent, but that the injury issues put him in the second round there. This is one where it's almost like blind faith in Kevin Colbert and the Pittsburgh Steelers coaching staff because of their track record of what they've done at this wide receiver position before. There were other receivers on the board that the Steelers could have taken in this spot, but ultimately they go ahead and take a chance on Pickens here, and quite frankly, I like it. I like the risk here going with Pickens, and the Steelers have the track record to prove that they can be trusted in these situations. Now let's look at the update from Lance Zerline of NFL.com, what he had to say. Lanky perimeter wideout with exciting bowl skills, but in desperate need of additional play strength in a clean bill of health. Resilient to make it back so quickly after an ACL tear, but needs to show quick cutting ability for route running. Now look, Pickens, his talent is not the issue. Um, I really like what I've seen talent-wise. It's just a matter of if he can stay healthy or not. That is the million-dollar question when it comes to George Pickens here. Now, you drafted Kenny Pickett in the first round. You have him a receiver to deal with. Clearly, the Steelers are rebuilding this offense for the future right now. They're not waiting. They're not in a position where they're trying to step back a bit and build other positions. They're trying to take care of things and get young on that offense right now. So for me, I respect that the the Steelers, even if you have questions of, well, you may not be a big Kenny Pickett fan because of just one year of good productive work at quarterback at Pitt. Or you look at Pickens and you say, well, he dealt with these injury issues. I give credit where credit's due for the fact that the Steelers are taking this hat on 
and that they're trying to do what they can to rebuild this team as quickly as possible. Steelers Talk is presented by Manscaped. April is Testicular Cancer Awareness Month, and our guys at Manscaped got you covered. Look right there. That is the triple uh, package that we see from Manscaped. This is uh, fantastic stuff that our guys at Manscaped got for you here. And the Ultimate Premium Collection is what it's called. It's $39.99 with the promo code CHAT at checkout. 20% off plus free shipping. And the only way to do so is by going to manscaped.com slash chat to take advantage of this. And they're doing some great work. They're trying to save some balls around here. So not only are you getting a great deal on these men's grooming products, you're also saving some money and you're helping some people out in the process. So check it out on manscaped.com slash chat with the promo code chat at checkout. Some numbers on George Pickens. As we mentioned, this 2021 season, only five catches in the limited snaps that he played. So the sample size isn't that big. But when you move ahead to his pro day of what he was able to do there, look at it. The 40 time, not bad, 4.47. The 20-yard time, 2.57. His agility did not test, didn't bench, but... The uh, vertical jump at a 33, pretty decent numbers there when it came to uh, what George Pickens was able to do at the Combine in his pro day. Now, the Steelers' depth chart heading into the draft had Deontay Johnson and and, uh, Chase Claypool as your top two receivers. Now you have to wonder, with Miles Boykin there and some of these other guys, where does Pickens belong in the fold? Are we going to see him immediately thrown into this Steelers offense right away. Is he a top three receiver for the Steelers off the jump? And, you know, when you look at this Steeler team, what I told you earlier that you have to trust the Steelers about what they do with the wide receiver position, how good they are with this, they don't wait around on their receivers. you got to be ready to go from the jump. Just ask Lima Swede how that worked out for him many moons ago when he wasn't ready to go and he was never that guy. And now the track record of Steeler receivers. Look at Chase Claypool, his rookie year. And the guys we talked about, Emmanuel Sanders, Antonio Brown, yada, yada, yada. All of those guys were instant impact players for the Steelers. I would expect George Pickens coming off this entry. He's hungry to get back on the field again. He will be an instant impact player for this Steelers team What do you guys think? Here's your chance to weigh in. Tell us in the comments section. Type Y for yes, type in for no. If George Pickens is going to be a top three receiver for the Steelers in 2022, let us know in the comments section. We are doing live draft coverage of all three days here on Chat Sports. Go to our main channel, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. You can also watch it on Rumble as well. Rounds two and three going on on Friday, and then we'll have rounds four and seven on Saturday as well. Every pick, breaking them down. Don't have to worry about all those goofy interviews and such or some fake country music from Luke Bryan. Nothing like that. You're going to get complete draft coverage. You won't want to miss it. YouTube.com slash TV.